I, I came out of late because I attended another fair tonight, but I felt that I think I, I missed one or two of the older Gnicki bar mitzvahs, and I, I, I enjoy coming to a bar mitzvah of a Torah summer student just to shep a little nachas together with his mother and father, together with his Zaidi and Bobby, Mr. and Mrs. Shlomo Yosef Gnicki, together with his other grandparents, Mr. and Mrs. Adler, and with the entire mishpacha. Chaim Akiva, I just want to say a, a few words of a message to you. I mean, everybody can listen, I hope. But we have tried very much in Torah Semis, as well as your parents and grandparents, to somehow or other inspire you with the ideals and the greatness of what it means to be a Ben Torah, what it means to grow up to be a Nemes Tamit Chochem. It's not very easy to do this particularly in this modern 20th century, where there are so many ideals of the world that is, that are, that is pulling our children away from Yiddishkeit. So when we see a mishpacha where, thank God, your brothers are learning Torah, your father learns Torah, the grandparents learn Torah, and you're learning Torah, Samus Baruch Hashem, this is where we're trying very hard to ensure that the next generation will be as great a generation in Torah learning Jews as past generations as well. There's only one way to do that. And I think we have the idea in today's Seder. In Bechukosai if you will fulfill the Chukim of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. One of the Madrashim says, very often the word it means if. If you will follow my Chukim. One of the Madrashim says, Im Alavai. Alavai that you would follow my laws. Alavai that you will follow what God prescribes as a way of life in this world. And Aksidah Shemebi said the only way that could be done is somehow or other we inscribe this way of life in your heart. If we write down a certain way of life to you, a writing can be eradicated. Written words can be erased. In the Chukosai, but I'll abide that you go in the word Chukosai, in the word Chakiko. The word Chakiko means to engrave, to carve out. When you carve out a message on a wall, that message will re remain forever. The Aseris Adibus were carved out of stone. The Aseris Adibus has remained forever. If you will accept everything that we're teaching you, It'll be carved out like you carve out on a piece of stone. It'll be carved out into your body, into your bloodstream. It'll be carved out into your whole mahus, your whole understanding of what it means to grow up. And then Teleichel, you will keep on going and going and going, and you will fulfill mitzvot like the Shmoru, and everything will be even a Sati Shoam, Boris, a Shraft and Me If you have this in Engraved, engraved in your heart and in your mind, you'll grow up to be what we want you to be. Our goals in Torah Samus has always been threefold. You should grow up to be a Talmud Chacham and a Yerei Shemayim and a Balmidos. Character and Avaidah Hashem together with an understanding of what it means to learn Torah. Those are the three goals of the Yeshiva. And if you will grow up with these ideals of what it means to be carved out in your life, then Chaim Akiv, I'm sure, you'll grow up to be a source of nachat, happiness and contentment to the most important person here tonight, to yourself. Mazel tov to us, one and all. from Torah Emmet. I'd like to introduce you another Rabbi Schwartz, our uh, cousin, the Rabbi uh, of Rock Rockwell Center. Before I introduce you, uh, uh, I just want to uh, tell you about a few people who, who, um, who made a special trip to come here. As you know, uh, we already mentioned Rabbi Kalbach from Shlomo, traveled from California. Um, 
Our, our aunt and uncle uh, came in from Florida last night. That's the father-in-law of the rubbish horse that I'm going to introduce. Thank you very much for coming. And my good friend, Xian Zeitman, I understand, just stepped off a plane from uh, China. Thank you. So, without further ado, I'd like you to introduce Rabbi Schwartz. I'm not overly accustomed to speaking after Rabbi Schwartz. And a few moments ago, when Louis asked me to say a few words, I hesitated because I had not prepared. But my sons reminded me of the Parsha two weeks ago of Emor, that it's a mitzvah to say something, to speak, especially at a simcha. Chaim Akiva's Bar Mitzvah is found between two interesting parshiot of the Torah, Bahar and the Chukotai. More common than not, these two sidrot are read together. This year, they are separated. Bahar meaning on the top of the mountain, and the Chukotai, my commandments. And of course, the connection is clear that at times, in order to reach the Madrega of fulfilling the Kukim, it takes a mountain climber, step by step, year by year, learning the various phases of <coughs> Torah. I think in Bukhukotai Telech is one of the most difficult parshiot, morally and ethically, it states if that if you will observe my chukim, my mitzvot, my Torah, then you shall receive brachot. First of all, it's not always true. We know people in the past, those related to the grandparents and other relatives of the simcha this evening, who were shomrei mitzvot and who nonetheless perished in the Holocaust. And at a simcha shal mitzvah, it is appropriate to remember those relatives, those Jews who died al Kiddush Hashem, even though they, the Chukotai, they went in the way of the Lord. But if we ask how can we try to ensure, even though there is no guarantee, the bracha, the reward that comes by following God's mitzvot. Perhaps we can find it in the name of the bar mitzvah, Chaim Akiva. For the great scholar, as Louis mentioned, Rabbi Akiva, had a famous statement that he would quote from the Torah, V'yahavta l'reacha kamocha, zeklal gadol Torah. He used to enjoy saying, as I know that Rabbi Kalbach enjoys singing, the Ahavta Larecha Kamocha, that quotation from the book of Leviticus, love thy neighbor as thyself. But the first way to attain any kind of bracha is to love other human beings. Ehov Esabrios, to love mankind. That is the direct way to Hashem. And then there's another way, and that is the way of Chaim. If you take the four letters of Chaim's name, Chet Yud Yud Mem, and take the first and the last letters, they spell Cham, and the two middle letters, the name of Hashem. And that represents Cham Barmkite and the two Yuds Yiddishkeit. So with those ingredients of Barmkind and Yiddishkeit and Ava Sabrios, I think those are the elements that will attain the ultimate bracha. And we pray that the Balei Simcha, Louis and Yedda, and your parents, 
my in-laws and my whole family will have that bracha of seeing the bracha due to you and to your children and mazal tov to Chaim Akim.